Good morning. I would like to show you um, how simple it is to get your first live image uh, created uh, on a Fedora or other Red Hat based system using the Kickstart uh, and Live CD Creator tools. Actually, um, using DevScripts, which is uh, a handler for well, also a project manager uh, for several different kinds of development projects such as um, compiling, packaging, uh, live CDs and um, similar. So um, it would look like this if you call it the re regular way. So um, however, I would like to um, add, start a new project. So I say simply add DS add. So um, no, it's not an existing one. Well, actually it is um, from previous tries, but I'm um, saying it's not. So I'm labeling it demo ISO, and I will be referring as an abbrevi abbreviation um, just by ISO. And um, it's now saying the quick access is what I just said, ISO, and it's created in the predefined set uh, project folder. Um, it creates a new subfolder where the kickstart files or um, RPM spec files or whatever I'm going to add uh, will be in. Um, so yes, it also works because it's written on Fedora. It also has um, compatibility with another project of mine um, which is using the Fedora account service. However, uh, for the live image, we'll be not using this one and it will be just a single user project. Um, just for the demonstration, I'm not using Git, I'm just using the kickstart file, not mock and not RPM. And um, previously on the, on the first initial setup of dev scripts, I was asked which was my most favorite desktop environment according to the um, files in the specific folder. So uh, I've set there uh, awesome. However, I want to change this one for this example. So you see here, um, we also have the desktop, which is GNOME, the default um, desktop environment on Fedora. We could also use KD, LXT, Mate Compass, X-Files, or even SOAS. Um, these are the defaults by the Fedora Kickstart packages. So uh, this one is installed uh, when using the RPM installation for dev scripts, so you don't have to worry about them. So I'm just saying I'm um, using a KDE, and as I mentioned previously, um, I've made a few tries in, in this example, so uh, a file is existing. I'm going to override one. The default ar architecture uh, on 64-bit operating systems is 64 bits. Um, if you know your main target for the ESO for this project will be 32-bit, you could say no here. But um, usually you want to create a live image for the machine you're on or for machines similar capit uh, capable as the machine you're on. So uh, you would say yes, um, which I do. You can override it to become a 32-bit very easy um, when making the ESO. Um, I'll show you then. So uh, we do, would not define more about the kickstart. So the default release, um, you could override this one uh, saying for example 20 or um, 22. Uh, if it was out already, but um, I highly recommend to leave this one as is. Also, um, default FS label. So when you insert the, when you burn it the image to the to a CD, um, this name will be shown. Um, just press enter to keep the project's name. Also for the title, this one is shown uh, when booting up in the group menu. This one may contain spaces. I'm just leaving it here because we will not fully compile um, the ESO that takes too long for a video. The default directory uh, for the output um, 
may vary um, and this one is now um, subfolder ESO uh, leaving the temp file uh, temp directory as is you could name to wherever you want uh, note also this will change uh, accordingly to being 32 or 64 bit um, at least for, for the default temp directory. Um, so yes, we leave this one empty too. So you see the project is now completely added. It's all nice. Now, how to edit or where is this kickstart file uh, I've been talking about? Uh, it's not too hard to get there. So you just say DS. So going for a project saying edit saying ESO and all right this way <laughs> so isn't it here so ESO <laughs> demonstration effect this is great um, DS project kickstart edit ESO so you see here now it's going to open three files this one is the actual kickstart file. This one is the um, specific kickstart configuration as for its label where the temp folder is because those values are not set within the kickstart file. And this one is the temp file or is providing the default values for a new uh, kickstart project. So we see here, let's clear them. So we see here the default. Um, no, this is this, this is um, the specific one. This is the default presets. Uh, these values are read out by from the system and will be reused for the kickstart file. Um, being the values up here. So you see here is also some already some default code here um, showing you where to do what, what kind of stuff um, using the KDE as said previously. So you would pl start placing your own code for more customized uh, live image in here um, just by appending packages up here or um, repositories uh, or whatever. Uh, read into the uh, kickstart documentation on Fedora for detailed handling of the kickstart file. However, for just the basic uh, working default environment, this is no changes required at all. So we would just go ds make ESO. So see, uh, I've labeled here the project abbreviation to ESO. So I'm just referring to ESO saying ds make. If I would like to create a 32-bit ESO, I'm going here. As you remember, I've said uh, to use by default 64-bit. And just by saying dash 3, it's starting creating a 32-bit. This is also represented. Um, so you see here the project's name automatically generated um, is the, the kernel version and the architecture. So um, this would take now um, about half an hour more or less depending on the, your internet connection and uh, machine spe specifications uh, will not be running this one so i hope you liked and wish you a nice day bye